stop investing in real estate. Today, I'm gonna tell you what to do instead of investing in real estate because I think that social media is super oversaturated with people telling you how to get rich quick through real estate. In reality, what happens is a lot of times people throw away money. So today I'm gonna to tell you what you should do instead of throwing your money away in real estate. If you like today's video, please hit like and subscribe and we will get into this right now. So I got four main reasons that I don't like real estate. And after I tell you those four main reasons, I'm going to tell you what you should do instead. Number one, real estate, in my opinion, is super oversaturated. It's overhyped. And what happens is, is that anybody can get into real estate. And with everybody throwing money at real estate, single family, multifamily, the price has been driven up. Cap rates in real estate, average cap rate is around 10%. That means you're barely making money if you're putting a loan on it. By the time you pay a property manager, you're maybe cash flowing maybe two to $300 a month on a single family real estate unit, if you're lucky. So the oversaturation has brought the pricing up. Number two, the ROI in real estate is slightly higher, if not at the same return as if you just put that money in the S&P 500, an index fund or a mutual fund, and there's a lot more that can go wrong in South when you're investing in real estate as opposed to just investing in the stock market. And I think by the time you pay a property manager, by the time something comes up on a real estate unit, you would have made more money with less work than if you just put your money in the stock market. So number three, real estate, as much as people say it is, it is not truly passive. Real estate is not passive income, okay? You have to find a property, you have to invest in that property, put money aside, and close on that property, find a property manager. If you don't have a property manager, now you have a job. And once you find that property manager, you have to find one that's not gonna gouge you with prices. You have to always be looking at the expenses, making sure they're reasonable. If somebody tears up the house, you got to make sure that that property manager is getting back in there and going to fix that unit so it can get back and rent it. You have to pay taxes. You have to pay insurance. If anybody tells you, oh, I'm just making money, I'm sitting back, that is not the truth. Real estate is not passive income. Okay, that's the biggest lie that I hear in real estate because really there is no such thing as passive income. And I've said this in one of my other videos, passive income comes from active income. So many people are like, I need to find a passive income business. I need to find a business that produces passive income. But I always say what you should do first is go make a lot of money. If you can go make a lot of money, then you can go create passive income. The issue is people are trying to do it in reverse. They're so lazy that they don't want to go make a lot of money. You know how easy it is to create passive income? Go make a lot of money. Go put that money to work. That's a lot easier. That's how you create passive income. Number four here, the reason I don't like real estate is because real estate is super bumpy. The market is up, the market is down, especially if you're doing flipping, if you're doing any sort of wholesaling, you can get caught really quickly when the market goes up and down. Yes, the real estate market goes up over time, but like I said, kind of my contrary to real estate is if you, instead of investing in a rental property, what if you invested in the stock market? Okay, great. Well, the stock market goes up over time if you're in an index fund. So what I'm trying to say today is there's four things that why I don't believe that real estate is as hyped up as it is. So what should you do instead of investing in real estate? What, what should you do? Well, what I would do is I would buy or start a business. And before you flip away, let me tell you something about buying a business. Right now, the average age of a business owner in America is in their 50s, okay? So the baby booming generation is getting out and they own a lot of the small businesses in America. And what they're gonna do with those small businesses is they're either gonna sell it, so they're gonna find somebody to transition and sell it to, they're gonna either transition it or they're just gonna close up their shop if their business doesn't have any value. So why is this valuable to you? Well, on the businesses that don't have that much value, some businesses that can't really be sold, those people are gonna sell off their equipment and there's an opportunity for you to come in and essentially buy assets of a business, maybe buy equipment if it's a construction company and really take over that area uh, where a baby boomer was maybe taken over. Or number two, you're buying someone's business and transitioning it. 
The cool thing about buying a business is you could do this thing called owner financing. That means that you've struck a relationship with the owner and you said, hey, let me give you partial of your selling price up front and I'm gonna pay you over time with your own business, with your own business's money while that person sits there and goes off into retirement. Okay, so buying a business, there's a massive opportunity. And here's why I am a, I am a super advocate of starting a business or buying a business versus real estate. Number one, a business is not fixed. The business I own, I own an insurance agency. I probably started that business with $1,000, maybe a little bit more, maybe two or 3,000, saved up money so I didn't have to take a, um, take a salary out of the business. I saved up over a year before I started that business. And what I've been able to do is we've, rate, we've grown that business to over 3 million in sales. And that business that I started was not fixed. You understand if you buy a two unit real estate duplex, that duplex is gonna be fixed at two units. Yes, you have a return on investment, but if you start a business and you take that same $40,000 down payment that you're gonna buy with that duplex and you buy a business, a down payment on a business, you can grow that business. When you buy a duplex, you're only ever gonna have two units. So the way you can scale and grow a business, look at some of the biggest businesses in our world today, Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, they all started in a garage. Apple started in a garage with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, started in a garage from nothing and grew that business to what it is today. With very little minimal initial investment, they've grown it to almost a trillion dollar company. We're gonna see our, you know, a trillion dollar valuation here soon with some of these companies. So speaking of valuations, number two, businesses have valuations that multiply. Real estate has valuations that progress on a percentage basis. What I mean by that is, if you have the right business and you grow that business, at every revenue string, and we're not taught this in school, we're not really taught about how valuations work in business, but let me explain it to you. When you're a small business, your valuation may be two to three times um, the revenue, or about one and a half, two to three times, maybe five times the EBITDA, which is the profit of a business. As you grow that business, and let's say your revenue gets over a million, now your EBITDA, your profit, your multiple has gone up to seven to 10 times. As you get over three to four million to five million, now it's gone up to 15 times. The bigger your business is, the bigger the multiple is. So you're multiplying your wealth. You're multiplying your valuation. And in real estate, that doesn't happen. Now you could have a portfolio of properties or a portfolio of massive apartment complexes, but that's more of a business. Now we're kind of in the same topic. But what I'm trying to say is your valuation on a business will multiply way faster than your real estate portfolio will because real estate goes up five to 10% every year. But let's say my business is valued at seven X the EBITDA, which is the profit. So if I increase my profit $100,000, I've created $700,000 in valuation. How do you increase the profit on a four unit quadplex? How do you do that? You raise the rent. Okay, well you raise the rent, you raise it too much, the guy's gonna move out, the tenant's gonna move out. You can't raise your valuation of a four unit comp or quadplex like you can do if you grow a business. That's why there's wealth, that's why most of the people going in number three here, if you wanna become a billionaire or a 10, 20, 30 millionaire, you're not gonna get there by buying duplexes. You're not gonna get there by buying a single family house and renting it out. You're gonna get there by buying or starting a business, growing that business. That business has a valuation that is a multiple of the EBITDA, of the profit. That's why it's important I talk on my channel about starting the correct business, starting the right business. If you start the right business that can be sold, build value in it, grow it over time, you have your valuation high, you sell that business for five to $10 million down the road. Okay, so it's becoming a smarter investor, smarter and being more strategic with your time. And that's why I believe investing in buying a business or starting a business um, is, is a 10 times better investment, in my opinion, than real estate. 
Because in real estate, there's a lot of unknowns, but in business, we can control our unknowns. We can plan for that. We can work hard on growing that business. And a great business that's producing a ton of profit is great for you. So if you like today's video, and I would love to hear your comments, what do you think about real estate? What do you think about, do you think it's a better investment? Have you had a lot of success in real estate? Do you own a business? Which one do you prefer? And if you like today's video, please hit like and subscribe.